Hey there, Rodrigo here for Textualize and in this series of short videos I'm going to walk you through the process of developing the textual app that you can see right in front of you. This is a stopwatch app and there's a tutorial for this app, there's a written tutorial for this app in the textual documentation, I'll leave a, a link below. And in this series of videos I'm going to walk you through the steps of building this app just in case you prefer to watch a video than read a tutorial. So the app looks like this, I just opened it, it has a couple of buttons that allow you to start and stop the stopwatches and when a watch is stopped you can reset it to zero and if you stop it, it's at 8 seconds now, you can restart it so it kept, well you can resume it, that's what I mean. So it kept counting from 8 onwards and there's also a couple of key bindings so if you press A you add more stopwatches and you can see here we have 7 or 8, 7 stopwatches already. You can press R to remove the stopwatches. And you can press D to toggle, toggle, dark and light mode. So this is what the app looks like. This is what we will be building. You can also press the footer here. And there's a nice header here. It doesn't say much, just stopwatch app. So this is the app that we will be building. And I'm going to walk you through every single step. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. And I'm going to go over here and create a new folder where we're going to be working on this project. All right, so I made a new directory called stopwatch and I'm going to move into there. Now, I want to install textual and I'll do that inside a virtual environment. So I'm going to go ahead and create a virtual environment for myself. I'm going to activate it. And I'm going to use pip to install textual into this environment. Now this was fast because I have textual cached here. Now if I go ahead and I type python-m textual, I should see the textual demo application. And this shows that textual was installed properly. So go ahead, install it for yourself and try to run the python-m textual command to see if the installation was successful or not. Now let me open my editor. Let me close this off and let me actually, so I have some configurations over there that I want to import over here so that everything looks nice. If I can't copy directories, can I recursively copy them? Yes, amazing. Great, so this will ensure that I have a decent font size when I type things in. Exactly. Amazing. So, create a file called stopwatch.py and let's get coding. Okay, so you have an empty file. You're going to write your first textual app. So what, what do you need? Like what's the, what's the minimal, what's the smallest application you can create in textual? And the smallest application you can create in textual is very small. It doesn't do anything, but it's small. So the thing you need is to, from textual.app, you're going to import the app class. So you need to subclass. I thought I had disabled this. Did I, did I not do this right? So formatting provider analysis. Am I missing something? Let me disable this. Manage extension. Let's disable. Okay. Let's disable in this work. Okay. Sure. So that's not going to bother us here. So the class app is the class that you need to subclass that you need to inherit from in order to create your own applications. Okay. So your stopwatch app needs to inherit from app. And now we're not going to do anything. So pass. Come on again. Oh, it said it said reload required. My bad. My bad. So you have the app there, and now we're going to write the a guard that checks that if we're running this as the main module. And in that case, if we are running this file directly, what we want to do is we want to create an instance of the app, and then we type dot run to run it. 
So this creates an instance of the app and the dot run will actually run the app. I can go ahead, I can go to my directory here and if I type python stopwatch.py, the app is running. You can see I have a black screen in front of me and this was the terminal screen. So the app is running, it doesn't do anything, it doesn't display anything, but it's running. So this is going to be our starting point and make sure everything is working so far to exit the app you can just press ctrl c so just like you would interrupt a any other python program so make sure that this is working and make sure the installation is successful if you need help with it check the links below and i'll see you soon so that we can start building our stopwatch app bye